To begin at the beginning, yes, M1 was the first of the objects that Messier stumbled across pretty much by chance when he was tracking a comet. A globular cluster is a very spherical collection of very, very old stars. And it's the fact that it's a collection of old stars that's important for what we're going to talk about today. It really was the most amazing astronomical image I've ever seen. And this illustrates the three different types of nebulae there are, all in a single object. I'm talking about an object that sort of isn't really there. So you miss M30 at the end of your Messier marathon and the whole night has essentially gone to waste. I mean, it's quite a pretty galaxy. It's got very nice spiral structure. It's a sort of archetype. But what's a little strange about it as a galaxy is that it doesn't have a bulge in the middle. This is probably the most widely photographed deep sky object in the sky because it's visible from the North and South Hemisphere. As far as Jupiter is below Venus, yeah. and then move to the left, oh, yeah. and you'll get it. Oh, yeah. So it's sort of midway through Messier's catalogue. It wasn't one of the first ones he found. Interestingly, it was actually one of the ones he missed the first time he scanned around the sky. This image was taken right here in Clayton Bay, in this observatory in South Australia. Now that looks spacey. People are now doing this game of actually going around trying to find sets of stars that all have identical chemical fingerprints. This could be how the sun could look in five billion years time. They're weird things because they're sort of waves traveling around the galaxy. There's always something exciting going on in each individual object as well. So yeah, I think there's, there's certainly potential for making videos about all 110.